What's up guys? As y'all can see, I'm at work. <laughs> um, I just wanted to come and uh, testify real quick while I'm doing this chart. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to be able to post my to record it because there's music. But, um, man, y'all, I've been praying to God to get me up out of this job, y'all, because it's just not me. Like, I'm, for one, I'm really not a working person. I started doing hair at a really, really, really young age, and I started getting paid for it at a really, really young age. So I got used to like that type of work environment. Uh, you do some, you know, that's lengthy time, lengthy, and you get paid a good amount of money for it, you know, right then and there. I've literally been used to that type of lifestyle since I was a kid. So, um, yeah, I really was like the braider like for real so um what was I saying so anyway yeah I've been praying to get up out of this job y'all like I, this is just not me I, I just you know I feel small here you know I feel like I'm bigger than this and stuff like that y'all and it's just been, you know been putting stuff on my mind like going back to school and stuff like that but I'm like there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that like I can barely keep up with my sleep now you know what I'm saying working overnight so i just been praying that god put me in a better position lo and behold y'all right when i thought there was no way god made a way so i'm checking my voicemails one day which i really don't do because i don't really get any important calls and if i do get important calls i'm you know i'm looking forward to them i know they're coming so i'm you know checking my phone regularly but recently, you know, I haven't been looking for no important call, so I thought. And I checked my voicemails, and lo and behold, I got a voicemail from a job that I worked sometime last year, like September. I had got this work from home job, and it's a, it works through the military. So I have to go through, like, maximum security clearance. And, you know, just for a lot of terrorists and stuff like that. So, I didn't pass the, the first level of security clearance because I had something on my background. Um, I did get that. That whole situation was dropped, but it's still on my record that I was arrested for it. So, I had told them, though, before I even got the job. Long story short, I had to go through a second security clearance, and they left a voicemail on my phone saying that I was finally cleared, y'all. This was back in April. It's June. Today's actually June 13th. I heard the voicemail around June 5th, I want to say. I was like, oh my God, y'all, I could have been at this job, like, back in April. I could have been at this job if I would have just checked my voicemails. But lo and behold, you know, I'm grateful. I was crying, y'all. I was, woo. When I heard that voicemail, y'all, ch I checked my voicemails. I was at work, and I was checking my voicemails, and I just stopped. I was like, <sighs> y'all started crying. I started praising, and before that, y'all, literally right before I checked my voicemails, I was like, oh, God, please deliver me. Like, I was really starting to feel a lot of anxiety. I'm like, God, please deliver me from this job, y'all. I'm like, please. It's not even a job, but the pay ain't worth nothing. So, you know, it feels like you're working for it feels like i'm still a lot of time here and i'm not getting my money's worth you know for my time i feel like my time is very precious and valuable that's what doing hair taught me at a very young age you know because i just grew up in the environment of doing hair so people like charge your time you know people always tell me that other stylists and stuff and so yeah i'm beyond grateful y'all i finally i get to start i got my do my start date for that job july 8th if y'all want to know what's also crazy is I had, um, this just shows you that sometimes, you know, you're just not on your own time. You are on God's timing because, dang, the stove. But anyway, it don't matter. I'm going to leave this <laughs> But, um, 
because I had downloaded a freaking um, countdown app. And on my countdown app, I have put um, July 28th. Oh, excuse me. Will be the day. I mean, June 28th will be the day I'm able to quit this job. Y'all literally put it on my calendar. And I would literally, you know, when I'm feeling discouraged and stuff, I'll go and look at that and be like, I'm trusting you, you know, because it was just like, some told me, like, put this as your date. And, um, so I've been real hopeful, y'all, but the intent was for me to be able to quit this job and start getting paid on YouTube. That was really my intent. My intent was for me to run my YouTube up, and by the 28th, I'll, I'll be getting paid on YouTube. So if you check it out, you can see I have not reached that goal. <laughs> I'm still, like, 200 people short just from the, like, um, being able to... The 500 subscribers is just for you to, um, what is it called? To have a membership, offer offer a membership. So you actually have to have a thousand subscribers to actually start getting paid to be a part of the YouTube partner program, pay partner program. So you can see I'm still very shy of those numbers and my uh, watch hours and stuff, they're not up to par. And a part of me was feeling like, dang, like I didn't even, I, like I want to go harder with the content, but like I want to feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to look presentable, like I want to feel like I don't want to look like everybody else because it's not my thing, but I do want to be presentable, pre presentable on my videos, y'all. Right now, I don't got a lot of clothes because I threw a lot of my clothes away. Like I threw a lot of my clothes away because uh, they were kind of damaged or whatever. That's a whole other story. <laughs> but yeah, I threw a lot of my clothes away. In this job, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be able to just get me a new wardrobe working here. But I was hopeful and, and praying that I'm going to throw these clothes away with the intent of being able to eventually get me some new clothes. And so now that's going to happen with this new job, I'll be making more. I'll be able to do that. And I'll feel more comfortable. I want to set up a nice, pretty background when I tell y'all my stories and stuff like that. And I just couldn't show y'all the date. Like I was, I was recording videos of me um, working and stuff, talking to y'all, stopping while I'm stopping and talking and stuff like that. But it just, this, then they play, started playing this music, and then they start putting up the name of the store, and I was just like, nah, I can't do that because um, I just. I already got weirdos on some of my social media platforms so i was like nah i don't feel comfortable posting you know me in this store and then on top of that the music you know i'm gonna get demonetized for the music or copyrighted because i can't get demonetized because i'm not demonetized but they will copyright me for music and stuff like that in my videos but somebody's here just sitting in the car but anyway um Yes, y'all, that's my testimony. I pray to be delivered from this job, and God has delivered me July 8th. I will be delivered from this job. I'm, I'm making the 26th. So the 28th was my original goal. I put on there the day you get to put this job, hopefully before then. That was what I had on my countdown app. And so um, I'm going to make the 26th my last day. I got it right written right here, y'all. It's written right here that the 26th will be my last day so so y'all um so another thing i've been seeing angel numbers a lot like just even right here y'all look at the first numbers this is the first number i've seen when i put this paper out two 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 <laughs> and that's <laughs> i've been seeing very much so have been seen i just seen eight 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 Like, I just, nah, nah, nah. Like, I'm not even looking for them. I'm just, my eyes is hitting them. This just for me to prove to y'all. Like, that's how I communicate to God. That's how I communicate to spirit. Like, whatever you want to call it. That's how, that is how I resonate. That's what I chose to communicate through, was through numbers. And a lot of times they, and they do reflect. And when I don't see my number, I know that I'm going through a trial if I need to check myself. You know what I'm saying? 
when I haven't seen, when I realized I haven't seen angel numbers in a minute, you know, I always get confirmation that I'm on the right path. And so I guess usually like when I don't see angel numbers, it's more like, a, okay, you need to pray, you know, and ask for a sign and ask for, you know, some clarification and stuff. And then boom, something will, you know, something will happen to see 28, 28. Something will happen or whatever. And I'll get something will happen that will remind me or bring a thought and then I'll look and then boom I just see a number confirming that's kind of how it works for me but yeah so I've been running into a lot of angel numbers a lot of the angel numbers I was running to before a lot of the angel numbers I was running into before I even saw or heard the voicemail was 555 and that's uh means prosperity your financial uh, situation is gonna get better you're gonna you know gain financial stuff like that and then I checked my horoscope too and literally that night i checked my voicemail the horoscope said you're gonna get an offer to make more money and it was like don't let it like it was like you've been going through a trial of frugalness like basically what you've been going through has been teaching you to be frugal and and considerate of your money don't let the fact that you're going to start making more money change that about you or change the fact that you you need to make your own decisions about what you do with your money and I was like, facts. And I'll go into details about why that, maybe later on down the line in life, <laughs> about why that, why that was important to me. And I'm just so excited, y'all. And then I get to work from home. Like, lately, I've been feeling like working overnight, y'all, is, is, I'm trying to put, block out that. But, yeah, working overnight, y'all, is very tiring. Like, you work all night, and you end up sleeping all day. And then by the time I wake up, it's straight mommy mode. Like, you know, and you do that for four or five nights straight for months that's it's tiring i'm tired excuse me i'm literally exhausted like after usually the week that i'm about to start my lady my monthly because you know that for me my monthly brings exhaustion already like i just want to sleep all day when i'm on my monthly so that you know i can't help that part of my body my body doing that that plus um that on top of working and being a mother and stuff very tiring and when i worked this from home job at home i was still tired y'all because i just sometimes i just get tired y'all which i'm gonna go to the doctor for which is another good thing because i'll have better insurance and i could do more with like going and it ain't even really y'all it's not even about nothing about my doctor or going to the doctor it's really my eating habits and the fact that I am not active outside of work. So with that job, I was working out in the morning. I'm like, <laughs> I was just able to do so much more, y'all. I could cook on my lunch break. I could eat lunch and start dinner on my lunch break. You know what I'm saying? That's so much more easier than getting up and right after you just slept, cooking dinner. Then you gotta get straight ready for work, stuff like that. I was able to pick my kids up, drop my kids off at school, which I did that anyway, but it was just a more of a convenience. Like, you know, the time I started, I start my work from home job, it's more convenient. I can get my kids up and pick them up, get them to ride the bus home, actually. Not even have to pick them up, they can ride the bus home. And I can, you know, get off the phone, meet them at the bus stop or whatever I gotta do. Like, it's just so much more convenient and even though it wasn't what i was expecting it's still good you know it's better than where i am so i'm beyond grateful and i just wanted to come tell my testimony because someone might need to hear it man keep praying and keep the faith even if it is the size of a mustard seed do what i did get to download you a countdown app and just pick a day and say this is the day i expect my blessing like and you just keep praying on it. And when you feel like you don't see a way, you just keep going. And you keep faith. And you go check that countdown after you say, don't, this is the day. You say it a lot. Don't forget, this is the day. <laughs> Looking forward to this day. And it may sound crazy. We are my elbow. My elbow. It may sound crazy, but by God, it works to have the, to keep your faith. You will see, you know, what you've been praying for. Because I definitely prayed y'all like i can't keep doing this like i can't keep living not barely even paycheck to paycheck y'all barely even paycheck to paycheck like 
I mean, my paychecks barely, my paychecks don't last to the, like, as soon as I get paid, it's gone. I'm spending, you know, I'm paying my bills and stuff like that. And so, you know, I'm taking consideration, like, me working this job, how I'm going to get them their school clothes, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And lo and behold, God has turned it around for me just like I was expecting it to happen. I ain't know how. And, I, you know, I was, I knew when. I ain't know how, though. And I'll take it. <laughs> for real. And I even, you know, even with me um waiting to hear back from them it's so hard to look how much my nails grew my persons my nails are so fragile though y'all they just these broke already <laughs> but um what was i saying dang i forgot what i was saying y'all hold on let me think i said even I don't know what I was saying, y'all. Long story, though. Short, you know, just turned out to be a long story. Because I really wasn't planning on this video being this long. But, you know, sometimes I just get to run in my mouth. But, yeah, just keep your faith and keep going. And, and watch God turn it around for you. Now, I'm going to even be able to do nails from home. I'm just, I'm just going to be able to do so much more. Y'all have so much more in store for this channel. I'm not giving up on my YouTube. I'm still expecting that blessing. But I just feel like, see, I didn't I just feel like God didn't want me to jump from this to that. You know what I'm saying? Like from this type of income to that type of income because I know a lot of people do get that type of blessings, but that's not my blessing because mine is so much deeper than what a lot of people do with their money, like really. Like and I mean that like so I have to learn certain things and that's one thing i always constantly remind myself like chill because you know there's certain things you have to learn and certain people you have to move out the way because like i'll be thinking like be real with yourself are you gonna be able to get and maintain this blessing with the people you have in your life and sometimes i'm like no and you sometimes you can't just run away from people you have to like get your closure and find your ending you know in the situation then move them out the way and so i feel like that's where i'm at right now with a certain relationship i'm getting my closure i'm wrapping it up and i'm getting my ending and once i get this person about my way once i'm in a more better space and i get this person about my way i feel like it's gonna be even more blessings and i do feel like this job had to happen at this time um because it's just some lessons I got to go through, like f saying no and standing firm on that. You know what I'm saying? That's something I do have to, I know I have to go through. Like, and it's something I want to prove to myself, like I can do that. I can have these resources and somebody can come to me that I know is just a vampire and just wants to suck it up out of me. And I can say no and I can be firm. And I want to prove that to myself. You know what I'm saying? And once I prove that to myself and prove that to God and prove that to my angels and prove that to the universe and prove that to the spirit, then I, I know I'm going to unlock another door and, and more things will be granted to me. But yeah, that's all I got to say, y'all. Enjoy y'all day, morning, night, whenever you see this. I wouldn't even go make it like this, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.